Hello and welcome to this feature discovery series about helicopters. My name is Sebastian Vlock, I'm CEO at Asobo Studio and in charge of development of aerodynamics. Today we will talk about helicopters and more specifically about the Cabri, a helicopter we developed here at Asobo Studio for the new update of Microsoft Flight Simulator. We will go over art, audio, the cockpit, improvements we did to the flight model and new technologies we developed for helicopters. Hello guys, I'm Benjamin Rieblanc and I'm in charge of art outsourcing at Asobo Studio. Today we are talking about helicopters, so let's discuss scanning and how it is a key to be able to model with perfect proportions. In order to take pictures, videos and scans, I have spent a day at the gimbal factory and I was able to look at all the Cabri G2 they are building. Using the scan is like recording a video, except that I must move slowly and at a good distance from the helicopter to have it well defined. The scan will take a picture and a point cloud 80 times per second. I have visual feedback directly on the screen of the scan to help see if there are missing parts. The more I capture a zone, the more precise it is. Once I'm satisfied with the quality of the object, I go back to the office and start the post process. The first step of post process is to align altogether thousands of point clouds with textures that have been shot by the scan. At this point, I can decide to remove useless parts, elements of the scan that have failed, details of the mesh, and even the size of the textures as they are recorded by the scan. At the end of the post process, I usually export a mesh of 10 million triangles, as it is not too heavy, but still well defined. Last step, all the objects that have been scanned must be correctly aligned in 3D Studio Max. The artist is now in the best conditions to start modeling. As for audio design, we of course wanted to be as accurate as possible and reproduce all the sound of helicopters. So we talked a lot to pilots to understand their behaviors and we used their advice to correctly record them. We went to record Cabu G2 and the Bell 407. Like for airplanes, we wanted a true-to-life 3D audio experience. So we placed microphone all around the helicopter to record the different sonic signature, cockpit, rotor, exhaust and so on. And for our cockpit view, we recorded cockpit acoustic and foley. Then we had to simulate everything in the game. We realistically implemented rotor and engine sound. They are completely independent and react to their own simvars. Helicopters also have their own startup and shutdown audio specificities, like clutch and rotor brake. We also added many details to bring our helicopter to life. For example, you will hear the wind blowing when passing under the spinning rotor. Increasing the collective pitch will make the cockpit rattle and flap the blade. Accurate sound attenuation, ground reflection and Doppler effects also have been implemented for true-to-life helicopter audio simulation. And finally, we updated the audio SDK, so everyone will be able to build their own helicopter sounds. Hope you will enjoy your audio experience! To develop that new simulation, we had to study our subject. That's why I went back to test pilot school to learn the specificities of flying a helicopter and how to test their performances and handling qualities. We partnered with Gimbal, the manufacturer of the Cabri G2, and they provided us all the needed material, from the blueprint to maintenance and flight manuals to learn the Cabri from the inside out. We then met Cabri instructors at the flight school to make them test the simulation and give us feedback at different stages of the development. We were also able to test the real helicopter by ourselves and experience the given feedback hands-on. 
Helicopters are very sensitive to control and require very little input on different axes to compensate each other. Just like an airplane, the pitch and roll of a helicopter are controlled with a stick. That stick is called the cyclic. To climb or descend, you will use the stick on your side, like a car, and brake called the collective. It will collectively move all the blades along the full cycle of the rotation. To help you control the helicopter, we added two assistances. The cyclic assistance that will increase the stability on the cyclic stick and the assisted tail rotor that will compensate the yaw, like an auto rotor. For a more realistic experience with the gamepad controller, we added a helicopter preset, where collective axis is controlled on the right stick for precise and quick power change required in over. Anti-torque pedals to control the tail rotor are implemented as increment, so that the pedal will stay at the same position if no inputs on the triggers, and not return to neutral like airplane rotor pedals. That preset is better to be used without the assistances. For this new helicopter simulation, we developed new technologies. We developed a new rotor blade simulation, for which we simulate hundreds of surfaces which are placed over the rotor blades of the helicopter. We developed a new CFD airflow simulation, which simulates how the air flows through the rotor over the fuselage of the helicopter. And we added a display, which allows users to see how this air flows over the helicopter surfaces. We also developed a new clutch system, a new transmission system. We improved and developed new controls. Thanks to these new technologies, we can accurately simulate ground effect which means that the helicopter, when it is closer to the ground, will experience more lift, which will impact the performance of the helicopter, as in the POH, depending on the altitude and if it's close or far from the ground. We also accurately simulate translational lift, which is the increase of lift when the helicopter moves forward or during cruise. The accurate CFD simulation also simulates the vortex ring effect, or also called settling with power, which is when the helicopter goes vertically down, a vortex that forms over the rotor, which makes the helicopter literally fall out of the air. With this new rotor simulation, we accurately simulate flapping. Flapping is the delayed phase lag that the rotor experiences when it spins around. We also simulate the dissymmetry of lift, which is a dissymmetry in the forces that the helicopter experience when it moves forward because the spinning blade doesn't experience the air speed at the same on the left and on the right. We also simulate gyroscopic precession which is again a delayed phase lag that the rotor experience when it spins. Finally, we accurately simulate auto rotation. Auto rotation is a capability of the helicopters to glide when they lose all power. We accurately simulate this and you can train on the cabri on auto rotation exercises, emergency landings and engine failures. Thank you for your time and uh, we hope you will enjoy the helicopters in Microsoft Flight Simulator.